In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the battery in your Nissan Juke key fob. This process is very simple and it will take you just five minutes or under five minutes from start to finish. And the only things that you will need are a regular flathead screwdriver, a smaller sized Phillips head screwdriver, and one CR1620 battery. Um, if you don't know where to get these batteries, you don't have one lying around the house, go check out that first link in the description. That'll take you over to Amazon where you can find these particular batteries for a great price. It's just a few dollars. So um, the first step to opening up this device is to just flip it over. Uh, find on the, on the back of the device, you can see that small Phillips head. That is what we'll be removing. So I'm using this small precision screwdriver. Whatever you have that can pull out this screw will work, but if you don't have something, um, you're, you're working with a larger screwdriver, I will recommend this one that I have here. This comes from a set of six precision screwdrivers. I've been using these for years. It's a really great product and it is just a few dollars on Amazon as well. So if you are in need of a small Phillips head, go check that out. That will be in the description as well. So just go ahead and remove that screw. Take it out and set it to the side. Be careful not to lose it. From here, we will switch over to our flathead. Just anything you have that will fit into this little indentation on the top right of the device. And just pop your screwdriver in and give it a twist. And this thing will open up and we will have access to the battery. Uh, now I'm just gonna go back to the Phillips head. You can really use anything here, uh, just a small thin instrument to help us pry it out. It could be a, um, um, pen or pencil, a needle, a pin, something like that. We just want to find this opening right here. There's the plastic on either side. Find that opening and just go in and gently lift up the battery. It comes out very easily. You can dispose of your old battery at this point. Grab your new 1620 battery and when you're putting it in, make sure that the positive side that has this plus sign and the text and the information there is facing down. So flip it over and just push it into place upside down. From here, we just can put it all back together. So just line these two halves of the device up and squeeze, and then put your screw back in there. And with that, you are finished. So you can see how easy this process is. You can do the whole thing by yourself at home and you do not need to bring it to the dealership where they will charge you a ton of money. Uh, you really only need to pay or the price of one of these batteries. So I hope this video saved you some money. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, if you liked it, feel free to give this video a like or just let me know about it down in the comments. We'd love to see your feedback. And uh, if you ever need help with another key fob, you can come check back on this channel. We will have you covered with tutorials for the key fobs for almost every make and model out there. And you can also get all of this information and much more at our website, which is fobbattery.com.